Hello, I am your cyborg instructor and I will be teaching you how to be a science officer. I expect you to be silent for this cyborg as you learn science. I was told that you, a human, would find that amusing. Do you agree with that hypothesis? It doesn't matter. I expect your full cooperation or you will be jettisoned from the ship. Now, as a science officer, you have access to a long-range radar displayed in the center of your console. Your job is to analyze and report on changes in the sector. The radar of the helms and weapons officer only reach 5U, yours extends to 25U. The red, green, and blue bands along the edge of the radar can vaguely suggest entities even further from the ship. There are many entities in near space but we know nothing about them. The scan button on the far right can be used to collect information on unknown vessels. Let's scan one now. Select the vessel and press scan. To scan successfully you must align the frequencies twice, using the slider. Do not be alarmed, it only hurts, a little. That was a frequency joke. Ha ha. Once you have completed the scan you will see information on the vessel and its attitude toward you. At this point I will notify the helm's officer of the distance and bearing of the enemy ship, shown to the right. The DB button stands for database, where I can read detailed information about the enemy ship. I can also notify the weapons officer that this is indeed an enemy ship, who can prepare the weapons and shields. Performing a second scan requires a more advanced frequency alignment challenge. This is my favorite frequency. Once complete, more information about the enemy ship is provided. The bar graphs show the optimal beam and shield frequencies. The purest green is the frequency that is most effective. Provide these frequencies to the weapons officer and they will optimize out attack and defense. You also have access to their system health for each system. Once the information has been provided, it is out of your hands. Sit back, relax, and get back to work. There are more ships to scan, and you can still provide useful information using your long-range radar. Don't let the other officers intimidate you. Remind them why they need you. You have knowledge and logic. While they panic, sit calmly knowing you have done your job. And hope they do not cause the ship to explode. But if it does explode, it was probably the helm's officer's fault. Incompetence. There are many objects you will encounter on your voyage through space. Here are some of the icons you may need to recognize on your radar. Perfect. Now that you have those memorized, we can move on. Nebulas are collections of cosmic dust and gas. Nebula can be flown into, but are dense enough to block information. Just like the helm's officer. Notice how the area beyond the nebula is also blocked. This can be great for hiding from enemies as they will not see you on their radar. Flying into the nebula will allow you to see anything that may be lurking inside, but you will lose your radar for anything beyond 5U. The science officer has one more trick up his sleeve. Working with the relay officer to fire out probes, the science officer can see and scan objects a short distance from the probe. Look, there it goes. To see what the probe sees, select probe view. Now we can scan these objects without getting too close. It appears to be a friendly ship under attack. How unfortunate. This completes your training for the relay station. Good luck, and live long and prosper.